Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and you know, I barely had my morning coffee, and Nintendo decided to drop a bomb on us and give us the actual release date of Splatoon 3, and no folks, it's not delayed, it's not being pushed to 2023, in fact, it's actually still coming out this summer, who knew, hey, look, bringing out uh, one game into July from September didn't magically push you know, Splatoon 3 out of summer. So Nintendo hasn't lied about anything. So let's actually talk about this by showing you the Splatoon 3 news. So, as you see, Splatoon 3 gets a September release, but Nate, you said it's not outside of summer. Ah, well, summer technically goes into September. Splatoon 3 is one of the year's biggest releases. Now Nintendo has continued to flush out the confirmed schedule with a release date of the 9th of September. So early September. Summer actually runs until September 22nd, so technically, it's just an end of summer release. It always seemed like a good summer candidate with its colorful look and general action. The announcement came with an extended look at the Turf War match, and we'll, we'll put some of that footage up here in a bit. Uh, here's what they said, quote, In the Splatoon 3 online, 4v4 Turf War battles can create heated matches across a mix of new and returning stages, where teams of four face off to cover the most, gra most ground in their ink. Newly uncovered footage provides insight on one of the new stages, uh, Eel Tail Alley, along with a look at the Stringer, a new bowl-shaped weapon that enables you to sling ink sideways and vertically. You can view all of this plus a glimpse into some new gear and information by visiting the Nintendo YouTube channel. In addition to frantic 4v4 multiplayer matches, Splatoon 3 also features a fresh single-player campaign and the next iteration of the co-op Salmon Run, or Salmon Run, I know I always pronounce that wrong. In the single-player story mode, you'll join Agent 3 in a fight against the unruly Octarians and discover the secrets of a mysterious place called Alterna and the Fuzzy Ooze. When diving into Salmon Run, you'll ink with teammates to fend off waves of dangerous uh, salmonid bosses and some which are colossal in size. As you can see, Nintendo has you know, clearly given us that clear date for it. And what's interesting is that's actually earlier than when uh, the original release date of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So um, it's obvious that you know they weren't going to want Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 3 released within a couple weeks of each other. And if Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is already done, then they move that up to July. You could have said they could have moved it up to August instead. Or, or heck, you know, if Splatoon 3 is releasing... You know, September 9th, it probably could have released at the end of August. Wouldn't have been the end of the world. It's obviously going to be done before. You know, it's not like, oh, no, putting it on September 9th means the game's not done till like, September 5th. No, like, it would have been done in plenty of time to release at the end of August. This obviously does leave August, though, wide open. So it had been widely considered that Splatoon 3 could have been a September and or August release. And now that we know that it is September, it does make you wonder... What's Nintendo got cooking for August? Why couldn't they do it then? And if it's since it's the beginning of September, is Nintendo done releasing games in September? Because typically, when Nintendo has a big game come at the beginning of the month, they have another big game coming at the end of the month. So is September even out of the question for another game? Could we see potentially some Zelda remakes at the end of September? Or do you think those might be an August drop? Do you think Nintendo's just got more games cooking and they're just reshuffling their lineup to make it work? Now, granted, technically Splatoon 3 isn't reshuffled because all we were told for Splatoon 3 was summer. And guess what? September 9th is still summer. So uh, Nintendo didn't lie. It is what it is. So... What do you guys think about this updated release date? Are you happy that Splatoon 3 is coming when it is? Are you looking forward to all the new stuff? And obviously, most importantly, do you actually enjoy the new footage that they showed off of the game? We'll put a link to the full video in case it didn't fit uh, in this video because we're not going to just keep talking for the next 10 minutes to make sure that that gets in. I want to get this news out to you as quickly as we can this morning because this is a big deal. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jazz from Nintendo Prime. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. We're on our road to 100,000 and subscribers uh so that would be lovely otherwise guys i will catch you in the next video